Hey guys, just a quick update. Randy here with uh, Gypsy Trails in beautiful La Posa South. Let's see if I can try to keep you out of that sun. Looks like, looks like that's about it right there. So, yep, out here just getting settled in. Actually, just started kind of stowing things um, more the way I want them. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to give you guys just, I'm going to walk around a different direction this time. So, here I'm camp. So as you can see, here's uh, my trailer. Back behind that, you see uh, you see um, Glenn and Charlene's, and then over here you see and you see uh, Wayne and uh, Rodney's. All right, so we've been filling in kind of steadily, uh, filling up. So it's a little wash right here. Don't really have to worry too much about um, um, critters this time of year. They'll be uh, <coughs> they'll be <coughs> more popular in the in the spring, March and April, I guess, is uh, when the rattlesnakes really come. You know, they're dormant right now, so they'd be coming alive. So as you can see, it's a bunch up one bunch back here, and um, it just seems kind of random, random locations. You know, they just probably partner up with their buddies, their, their friends, their family, and then they just kind of set up camp. Some of these are really, really cool. Like you see these tucked back little ones like this one right here. I like, I like this person's spot. I think that's a nice spot. Wow, though, I tell you what, guys, I had no idea. Silly me for not knowing. Um, I had no idea that it is so windy down here. I mean, we've been dealing with, I'm going to say, uh, close to 20 mile an hour winds for the past couple days. And it's supposed to remain that way all the way through Wednesday. And then uh, come back down to, uh, you know, less than 10 miles an hour. But I've been chasing around. I've been chasing, uh, I've been chasing my uh, lawn furniture and that little rug that I got, a little camp rug. Even had to even had to chase the uh, the um, um, my little 14 inch uh, a little 14 inch uh, grill had to woke up this morning. I heard it. I heard it flipping over the table yesterday or last night rather. But it is what it is. Learning a bunch of stuff as I come down here. I need to get stakes for the for the rug. Check out this little cactus, this crazy looking cactus. I think they call it something like Zagora cactus. If you know the name of that, throw that down in the chat if you would. Um, so yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff. I, I actually, I, I really need to turn this around so you guys can kind of see some of these um, just elaborate setups, big buck setups. And and uh, man, our four wheelers, side by sides, dune buggies, all that stuff, super popular here. I've never seen so many of them in one location. And these guys are having fun. You'll see a lot of toy haulers. Um, you'll see a lot of, just a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I think right over there, it turned out I wasn't too far the other night from my camp where that guy, or the, those people helped me out when I was lost, coming back from the, um, the uh, lit cactus. I want you guys to see some of these, these nice big fifth wheels. You know, my, uh, my camper is only a 25 footer. To be perfectly honest with you, if I had anything more than that, um, it'd, be, it'd be kind of wasted space for me. It's just me. Um, I do though, I do got to figure out a better solution to my, my uh, dirty laundry, man. Um, like right now, I just I just threw the laundry basket in the shower. That seems to work for now. Uh, but uh, yeah, you see some really cool setups. I hope these guys don't mind me uh, showing this. But uh, class C there. But look at all the solar this guy's got on there. That's a lot, dude. Those are, I think those are 600 watt panels. 
if they're the newer style, those are 600. Those tall ones, then uh, then that square that right there, that should probably be about eight plus. Well, that's two thousand plus another twenty-four hundred. So it's got what's that? Thirty-six hundred watts of solar. Oh, it's a lot. And look at this guy sitting um, on top of his fifth wheel. Those are it looks like two hundred watt panels, maybe more. Two. Uh, he's probably he's probably four hundred watt panels, not two hundred watt panels. And he's got one, two, three, four, five that are standing. Who knows how many laying down? So, 2,000 watts of solar. And he's got that nice big. Um, uh, he's got that nice big toy on. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm kind of going. I'm trying to keep you guys out of the sun, but to still give you guys a nice view. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that setup. These guys are seasoned, man. They come out here. They know what the heck they're doing. You know, they're beautiful. No, but I tell you what, though, I, I bet you they're having a heck of a time with those tents in this high wind. But I don't know. I'm, they're probably prepared for that, too. Look at this. Look at this. We're in the land of fifth wheels. I'm trying to pan out a little bit more. Land of fifth wheels. Just everywhere. Class A's, Class C's, campers. Just, just a lot of stuff. And this is just one little area. This goes on for miles, guys. Miles. You got like some big, big rock circle. But I bet you these guys come out here probably early every year, go back to their same spot, and uh, yeah, it works out for them. I think I got out here. I, mean, I think my spot. I think where me and uh, Wayne and Rhonda, where we set up. I think that looks like it was probably one of those spots that people like to return to. This is so well done. Oh, no, no, I just noticed something up here, guys. I would flip my phone um, to the side so I could give you guys a better view. Thing is, though, is for some reason uh, uh, it's not working. My phone's, uh, uh, I wouldn't say it's on its last leg because I'm going to get, I'm going to. I'm, I, I'm so tired of buying into that. You know, twelve, fifteen hundred dollar phones. That's just ridiculous. You know, but, and they're and they're meant to depreciate. You know, every couple of years. I mean, think about the cost of a laptop and all that processing power. If you spend fifteen hundred bucks on like a laptop or a tablet, that better be a darn good laptop or tablet. I'm not talking top of the line. I'm just talking about pretty darn good. Uh, at least you better get more than a couple of years out of it. I always look at certain things when it comes to laptops and whatnot. You need a good processor. You can typically upgrade your RAM and stuff like that for relatively anything, you know, not, not too much money. But these phones, good luck trying to do that. And these things are meant to depreciate every couple of years, which I think is, I think it's some form of robbery check this out guys look at this this is a cool rock border i don't know if i'm gonna there's this uh beautiful side by side nice fifth wheel over there these guys probably uh probably do this every year that'd be my guess look at the look at that rock border guys how cool is that that's tall that's uh four foot tall All the way around those peaks of three four feet tall look at that he's got that really cool fence now this is probably the best setup i've seen holy holy moly look at that rig i'm gonna try to i'm not gonna be all invasive and walk into their property but i'll walk around the other side so we can get a good view this is my first time over this side but that's basically, it's not a fence. A dog can just jump right over that. But over there, that's a fence. That is the coolest thing. But I gotta get a look at this dude's rig, man. This is crazy. This is, it's gotta be custom. He doesn't have to let me know. Hold on, I'm gonna spin you around so you can see it. 
back of that thing. Hope you guys can see it. That is amazing. That dude's got a setup. Oh, look at all that water too. Holy mackerel. Each one of those 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 250 gallons probably bottled of water. That's super cool. See me okay? I'm gonna try to uh, uh, get everything going with the GoPro and the Adobe Premiere and whatnot. Um, 